USS Gerald R. Ford, which underwent its maiden deployment, was recorded as the most advanced and most expensive aircraft carrier owned by the United States Navy US. He was deployed five years after entering Navy service and 15 after being named. Short deployment to Atlantic expected to test further system that delayed its debut. The carrier and its strike groups will train with eight other NATO navies. We already knew this all worked, and now we want to use it, said Captain Paul Lanzalotta, commander of the USS Gerald R. Ford, told reporters who visited the ship, as quoted by CBS News, Tuesday, 10 November 2022. The USS Gerald R. Ford is facing several delays related to some of the 23 new technologies it brings. In particular, technical and device problem software stops certifying gun lifts used to carry bombs and missiles for loading onto jets and catapults launching aircraft from aircraft carriers. It was the first aircraft carrier to use an electromagnetic catapult system instead of the traditional steam power system. This new system is expected to improve flight count by 33%, extending aircraft life and handling heavier aircraft, such as advanced drones. Of course at sea level, this will be the most powerful warship our Navy has ever carried, possibly any Navy, said Captain Lanzalotta. The $13 billion price tag also makes the USS Gerald Ford the most expensive warship in Navy history. Initially, the carrier was projected to cost $10.5 billion, but problems with advanced technology increased costs and delayed launch first for four years. Despite all its new technology, the USS Gerald R. Ford is still not quite up to date. The carrier is not yet equipped for the F-35 stealth fighter jet. It's not that the flight deck can't handle them, we can do it, said Commander Homer Henze, chief engineer on the USS Gerald R. Ford. But if you want to bring the lethal F-35 and its air wing and what it brings to carrier strike groups, you have to install stations and certain other operating systems. Henze said the Navy had to decide between 2006 and 2007 to develop the USS Gerald R. Ford with the existing air wing, which does not include the F-35. Since then, the Navy has modernized other carriers so that they are fully capable carrying the F-35, and the USS Gerald R. Ford will probably wait for the upgrade. This carrier has more room to incorporate future technologies, such as laser guns and drones. There's a lot, a lot of space. Believe me when I say this, without revealing anything classified here this ship has a lot of spare capacity," said Henze. While walking around the ship, several sailors pointed out how cold it was on the USS Gerald R. Ford compared to older carriers. The change from a steam-powered catapult system to an electromagnetic system meant the crew managing the system was launching and recovering aircraft does not work in high temperature conditions because the new system uses computers. The ship as a whole is cooler, according to Henze, because air conditioning factories are much bigger and have the cooling capacity to handle future systems. During a visit with reporters, the crew also demonstrated how the flight deck changes were intended to make operations more efficient. Responsible person in charge of flight operations on the USS Gerald R. Ford, Commander John Peterson, said one noticeable difference was the on-deck refueling station. We no longer carry hoses across deck, said Peterson. When we move the plane around the flight deck, we can refuel planes at the same time without having to worry about moving hoses so we can get the planes glide. For its maiden deployment, the USS Gerald R. Ford, about 60 Navy aircraft, assorted F-18 Super Hornet jets, E-18G Growler, E-2D Hawkeyes and MH-60 helicopters, were transported. Rear Admiral Gregory Huffman, USS Attack Group Commander Gerald R. Ford, said, This deployment is an opportunity to gain a good understanding of how Ford, with its new capabilities, will be able to interact with different ships and possibly change the way we do tactics from a big-picture perspective.
USS Gerald R. Ford was the first carrier of the Ford class, a new class that will replace the existing Nimitz class carriers. As a first class in decades, Ford will integrate all the new technologies. USS Ford is designed with a new radar system, dual band radar, new launchers to help warplanes take off on their decks and elevators weaponry, each of which is electromagnetically powered, new aircraft arresting gear, and much more. Unfortunately, much of the new equipment presents serious technical problems. The problems are solved in stages. The most pervasive problem namely Advanced Weapons Elevators AW, which lift bombs and aircraft missiles from the bottom of the ship to the top of the runway deck, has just been successfully completed last year. The super aircraft carrier with a weight scale of 100,000 tons, length of 1,092 feet, is projected to take five years to build. Ford construction began in 2009, but in fact it was only completed in 2017 or eight years later. According to the Congressional Research Service, the construction of the USS Ford has cost up to $13.3 billion, which makes it of the most expensive ship ever built in the world. This does not include the unit costs of the 70-plus fighter aircraft that will consist of 40 to 50 F, A-18E, F Super Hornets and F-35 Joint Strike Fighters, 5 EA-18G Growler Electronic Attack Aircraft, 19 MH-60 Seahawk Helicopters, 4 E-2D Hawkeye Early Warning Aircraft, and 2 MV-22B Osprey. Cargo Transport Aircraft Summarized from Naval-Technology.com here are the advantages of the USS Ford aircraft carrier. Advanced fishing equipment. Automation, allowing a crew of several hundred fewer than the Nimitz class carriers. Updated RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile. And Spy 3X Band Multifunction Radar and an Spy 4S Band Volume Search Radar. Designated jointly as Dual Band Radar, DBR, it was originally developed for the Zumwalt class destroyers. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launching System EMALS, replaces the traditional steam catapult for launching aircraft. New Nuclear Reactor Design – A1B Reactor for larger power plants. Stealth Feature to reduce radar cross-section. Ability to carry up to 90 fighter aircraft, including Boeing F, A18E, F Super Hornet, Boeing EA18G Growler, Grumman C2 Greyhound, Northrop Grumman E2 Hawkeye, Lockheed Martin F-35C Lightning II, Sikorsky Shish Helicopters minus 60 Seahawks, and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Have an onboard hospital, 